spring. This will be going out, it'll be the 2nd of January when this one goes up. So this is a great time of year, you'll be clearing out your fridges and you'll be suddenly thinking, oh my goodness, I've got all that cream and I've not used it. Or you'll be going around the shops and you'll discover likes of this one has been sold for 20 pence. Buy them. Buy them, freeze them. Or just buy them and do what I'm doing straight away. Make some butter. This one has come out the freezer, so it's gone a bit curdled looking, but don't let that put you off. Because Kenny had bought this one a week or so ago, so I've just frozen it, thinking I'll make some butter for New Year's Day. Because I'm filming this on Hogmanay, although it goes out on the 2nd, so this is still Hogmanay. So we'll forget that one's scraped out. I'm mixing two here. I've got one that's double cream and one that's extra thick cream. But that won't matter at all. You're just... The only thing you can't use is single cream. It has to be thick. Or you'll be here all day trying to whip it up if you were using single cream. So butter is so expensive now. If you get the chance to actually buy it at, or cream at 20 pence, you're going to be making cheap butter. And you're going to impress some people too. Oh, excuse me. I'm making a noise. The laws of gravity, Kenny. I should have known that one. About half a teaspoon of salt for two tubs will be plenty. And now all you have to do is whisk. Now it might take a wee minute, so Kenny might put it off, but we'll see how we go. I'll give him a nod if I need him to. Just whisk. See, I mean, it, it's got to the stage of where if you were whipping it, it would have gone too thick, and that's what you're wanting. You're needing to know that it's, it's you know, it's going to, it's going to force the water out eventually. It's going to become such a solid mass that it will force the water out. So we'll just keep going. <laughs> See, listen, you hear? You hear it sounding wet? Splodging. There, you can see some of the water starting to come away. Uh -huh. Sorry, you just see it dribbling out there, down the bottom. See it? So, at this point, 
you're just needing to get your hands a bit dirty, keep a dirty clue or a, a bit clue handy just for wiping your hands. Something that you don't mind getting a bit greasy. So we'll just drain some of the water out, give it a bit of a squeeze and then we'll just come back and do it again. Last time. now. So we're just needing to bring all the butter away and all that, if you've got, I probably shouldn't say this, but if you've got a cat, give that to your cat. That'll love you forever. And then all we need to do, if I get a wee board here, is I'll just pop this out just now. So we'll just lift the butter out, give it a wee squeeze, just to get out any excess. And that is how easy it is to make your own butter. If you want, at this stage, just pop this into a sieve and leave it to just drip for an hour or so. And then you would just come back, I'll pop that out my road. Just do it just now, I've still got greasy hands anyway. Thank you, Kenny. And then once, once you've got it so as it's all the water's out of it, I'll just do that in a minute, but I'll just show you. Just literally pat it together, the old fashioned way, the old fashioned pats. Used to go into Healy's in Glasgow and get old fashioned pats of butter. And then just wrap that in some greaseproof paper and there you've got your very own homemade butter. Like I say though, let that drain for a wee while and it's amazing how much water will still come away. But as simple as that, and in this case for 40 pence, I have got a piece of butter that's the length of my hand and about a 20 stick. So I hope you give that a try and I would say Happy New Year to you but my hands are too dirty to lift the glass of tonic but I hope you do all have a wonderful 2019 and we'll see you next week. Thank you very much for watching. Bye!